and today in the lab, a blast from the past, or maybe a call from the past. I know some of you never even saw or used one of those, but when I grew up, those were the phones. And I want to turn one of those into a mobile phone, or at least be able to connect to a line without actually connecting to a line. So let's clean it up a bit and take it apart. After cleaning it up, let's take it apart. And here we go. We got inside the case. Okay, this is what I want to start with. So I can get the dials from it, so I'm going to take it apart and take it to the bench. out. Just to figure out what to do with the cables. See if I can disconnect or have to cut them. But it's out. I just realized there's screws here so I'm just gonna undo them and take this to the bench. Very good. Now let's try, let's see if this works and if we can get the dial out of it. After figuring out the pinout, I set up a test with LEDs. Note the white one turns on when I start dialing and how the orange one is blinking. After running the LED test and since I knew the dial is working well, I turned into creating a Arduino sketch that could read the dialed number as well. I use two pin, one to know that I'm starting and ending the dial and one to count the pulses. And then I turn them both into an input pull-up, meaning their common was ground. And then when it changed the first time, I knew I'm starting to dial and I set the counter to zero. When the pulses changes on the one that is charges of the pulse, I added one to the counter. And when the end of the dial happened, I showed it. Note one thing that zero is represented by 10 pulses, so I had to turn if the counter was 10 to show zero. The next step is to take out as much as possible. I'm gonna clear this, this, all the wiring, this part here, just leaving the handle set and this, so I can use it as well as the switch. And I'm gonna replace the electric ringer. Hold on, there is a, there's a stopper here. Hold on, let me turn it. Okay. Bringing back this, I'm gonna put a servo motor here that will do this, keeping the original ring. So let's take it apart. So we just need to unsolo this because I still want to use this switch. So I'm gonna unsolo this, this solder, sorry, and we'll take it from there. Now let's take it all out. I think the easiest will be this. Alrighty, we got a somewhat clean phone. I need to clean it up a bit. And uh, we'll take it to the next step, the entire phone in parts. So, next step, one of those, I need to place it somewhere here. I've got a dilemma on what I'm doing with the ringer, because if it sits here, it's going to take a lot of space, and I won't have enough space to put this. I'll probably just order a smaller, um, non um, uh, shield C900 and place it somewhere. So yeah, let's um, let's make it cool.
On the left here is the C900 tic-tac-toe game with TV out. I'll put the link in the description and on the screen. The thing is that the heart of this is the C900. As you can see, this one is already have the capability of dialing from the keypad. So my task right now will be to join those two so I can actually so I can actually dial what I'm doing here and it will show here. So let's get it. Let's make it happen. Since I had to take it apart, I want to show you how it actually works. Note this one here. You can see the flickering. Watch again. This is what causes the pulses of the actual call. This is how I know how what's the number that's been dialed, how many times this gets flickered like this. Now let's make those wire a little bit longer with a proper end. Remove those two because we don't need them. And uh, get it hooked up to the other mega. After a bit of playing and soldering, I make longer wires and it's working again. Stop working for a second and then I figure out uh, the cable that's in charge of letting me know that I'm dialing something went wrong with the dials inside. I adjusted it and it works well. So now let's put it into the other project. I added a dial into the code. You can see it looks almost the same as the test code. I wanted to make a test call and was using my phone for the video, so I called the local recorded weather forecast. And you can hear her answer. I ordered some really small CM800 boards and once they will arrive I will move the project into the original case. I think of using an ESP to add Wi-Fi as well, don't know why. Would love to hear from you if you got any crazy ideas for the build in the comments. If you haven't done it by now, please subscribe, give a thumbs up, leave a comment and see you next time.